a laboratory manager and as such I'm always looking for ways to improve the quality management systems in our laboratory but there hasn't been a simple way to go about implementing it so our laboratory is not accredited and it seemed like there was a mountain of work to do to go from not accredited to accredited and when I looked at the at the course what this course is about to offer I found it interesting because it would easily help me get from not being accredited to being accredited. Through our work we gained a lot of experience uh, over the many years in laboratory strengthening. Uh, we assisted laboratories, uh, individual laboratories with the implementation of quality management systems uh, and um, through mentoring projects. We performed laboratory assessments all across the world. Based on that, we developed guidance tools to make it easier for laboratories to implement quality systems according to ISO standards without external assistance. I really like the word stepwise because uh, usually when people talk about quality in the laboratory, they are very interested but they don't know where to start. And the beauty about this tool is that it gives you the start, a stepwise thing, and that's very important to me. When I get, came here, I saw how the, the course is very useful. It, it, I changed my mind. Uh, in spite of doing only assessment and leave people, you know, uh, uh, didn't know their way, I know now how to help them to implement the system. We train uh, professionals. So why not use their, their, that experience, their knowledge that they already have uh, to make them learn new things? So our trainings are developed or designed such that we trigger that process. You can read everything about quality management systems, but really understanding how the system functions and works to improve your laboratory performance is another thing. Quality management system is there to support you. It's no rocket science, so it shouldn't be difficult to implement either. And uh, with our trainings, we give people that insight. Coming in as, as a laboratory manager and discovering that I'm sitting right next to a director, you know, so it's, it's kind of daunting. But one of the first things that was said as the rules was that your title remains outside the door. Mm. And what I found was nice is that they created a platform where people could share. So, so you felt open to bring your experiences to the table and everybody could learn from each other. Traditionally, we end our trainings also with um, a final assignment in which participants have to start planning for the implementation of a quality management system. They have to make a long-term plan and they have to make action plans. And this really enables them to kickstart the implementation of a quality management system. When I go back, uh, the picture is very clear in my mind. I'm going to start the implementation plan immediately after I go back to, to Sudan. It is no more a very complicated thing to implement the quality management system in, in every lab when you attend such a course. What makes me proud is that these people get enthusiastic. If you compare a laboratory that is at the start of implementing a quality management system with laboratories that have already gone through that process, you really see big changes happening. The quality of those laboratories that have implemented quality management system is guaranteed. So you can imagine the number of patients that is um, now better off compared to before 